Hey guys, what's going on? Timpus here, and I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool backing on a YouTube banner or a thumbnail. You can use it in anything really. Thumbnail background, YouTube banner, Twitter header, whatever you want. So it's a pretty easy one, it's just a backing. And first of all, you just want to open up YouTube banner template. And then once you've done that, you need to make sure you've got a black or a dark, dark grey um, background. And then once you've done that, you want to open up, you need to go on Google and find um, like a picture. I'm just going to use this Call of Duty like wallpaper. And then basically all you've got to do is you need to change the saturation down to zero so control U and bring down the saturation <clears throat> and then once you've done that um, go to filter blur Gaussian blur and around 15 is good so then once you've done that bring down the opacity to around uh, around 25 is good and then after that um, we're gonna add some like highlights and stuff so get a brush and you want to make a new layer as well guys make sure I make a new layer and then you just want to do a dot at the top and just bring down the opacity a bit after that Add another layer, same again but with white, and do a couple of dots in random places, something like that, that looks good. And then change that to overlay, you can see the difference, it just makes things pop out a bit more. And then once you've done that, add another layer, and then you, this, you can choose whatever colour you want here, I'm just going to choose, um, let's choose orange like so and then you just want to drag at the bottom all the way across make it a bit bigger like so in fact I'm just going to move that up a bit and then um, I think it's colour dodge yeah colour dodge and then just bring down the opacity to around 55 then add another layer and go to the brush again and add white and do like some more dots around the bottom where you've just done the colour that you've chose and then change it to overlay and then once you've done that you want to get the same like tone of colour like I've chose orange but I'm going to go for a dark orange this time and you want to go over the top of it again. Um, just trying to find out which one it was. Yeah, color dodge. Um, yeah, I'm set set that to color dodge again. Oops. And then once I've done that, go to white again. And you want to add a big white dot in the middle and change that to overlay. And then once you've done that, add another layer, we're going to use a pen tool here, and you want to go, you want, we're going to make some like, um, I don't know how to call it, I'll just do it. Uh, and then just do this, join it up, make selection, and then you just want to go across it so it's like a little streak of light. Like so, so it should look something like that. And then change that to overlay, and then you want to drag that down a bit. Something like you don't want it too bright. Um, and then once you've done that, add another layer. We're going to do another one somewhere. Let's do it like that. Make selection. And set that to overlay again. And then bring this down. Um, I think I'll do one more. Um, like so. Boom. 
and set it to overlay. Alright, and then once you've done that, that's just like, should have something like that so far. And you want to add some colour corrections, and brightness and con contrast. So click brightness and contrast, bring down the brightness to around 15. <clears throat> and then bring it up the contrast to around 10. Then go to curves, and you want to make a small S. So bring this point up a bit. And this part down a bit <clears throat> so it makes a bit of a curve and then go to photo filter and you need to change the photo filter to the color that you've chosen already so I chose orange so I choose that again and then which one um, yeah it's color dodge uh, set it to color dodge and then bring down the opacity to around 30 and I'll just show you the difference if I group it all together and hide it it just makes everything pop out a lot more um, yeah and once you've done that we're just going to add a couple more highlights so let's make some dots in fact no change the color to what you've been working on so I'll just choose a bright orange and just do dots in random places again. And then colour dodge again and then bring it down to around 20. And finally go to white and do a big dot at the top and change that to overlay. So that's basically it guys, that's the background and then once you've done that you could just add text in the middle of it, like so. <clears throat> so it, it looks really nice when you've um, got all the text and stuff and you might want to do other things to the banner yourself. So it just, it just makes it, the text pop out a lot more, it just looks very clean and nice and you can use this like I said you can use this for thumbnails, twitter headers, um, desktop backgrounds whatever you want it's a really easy um, skill to use when you're making banners and things like that so I hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more I've also got a Q&A uh, I might be doing a Q&A soon so I've already got some comments for it but um, if you want to leave some more comments I'll take them in um, but yeah guys, make sure to subscribe, um, the support recently has been amazing, I'm almost on 1200, but yeah, subscribe, like, um, comment and make sure you share the video so it gets noticed and I'll see you guys in the next video.